Ever wondered about the difference between OLED and IPS screens? Well, today you're in for a treat. Our world is increasingly digital and screens are our portals into that realm. Whether you're a hardcore gamer, a movie buff, or just someone who wants to make an informed decision about your next device purchase, understanding the difference between these two screen types can be a game changer. OLED and IPS, these acronyms might sound like tech jargon, but they are essentially two different types of display technologies, each with their unique qualities. From color accuracy to contrast ratios, viewing angles to response times, these screens have a lot to offer, and understanding their differences can help you pick the one that best suits your needs. So buckle up as we dive into the world of OLED and IPS screens. First off, let's focus on OLED screens. What are they exactly? Well, OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diodes. This technology is unique because it allows each pixel on the screen to emit its own light. That's right, each and every tiny dot that makes up your screen is its own small light source. This is a stark contrast to traditional screens which require a backlight to illuminate the pixels. What this means is that OLED screens can turn individual pixels completely off, achieving true blacks and an infinite contrast ratio. Now that's a level of detail that's hard to beat. But the perks of OLED don't stop there. They also offer wider viewing angles. Ever noticed how some screens look washed out or distorted if you're not sitting directly in front of them? Well, with OLED, you can say goodbye to that problem. These screens maintain a consistent, vibrant display from just about any angle. Now, let's talk speed. In the world of gaming and high-action cinema, refresh rate is king. The faster a screen can update its display, the smoother the motion appears. This is where OLED screens truly shine. They have incredibly fast refresh rates, often exceeding those of traditional screens. This means less motion blur, less screen tearing, and ultimately, a more immersive and enjoyable viewing experience. Another advantage of OLED screens is their thinness. Since the pixels themselves emit light, there's no need for a bulky backlight. This allows for incredibly thin and lightweight displays, perfect for sleek modern designs. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. OLED screens can be more prone to burn-in, a phenomenon where static images can stick to the screen over time. But don't worry, this is unlikely to happen under normal viewing conditions, and manufacturers are constantly improving the technology to mitigate this issue. So that's a quick rundown of OLED screens. But what about IPS screens? Moving on to IPS screens, another popular choice, but what makes it stand out? In-plane switching or IPS has been a mainstay in the display technology arena for quite some time. Like OLED, it too has its unique set of characteristics that make it a preferred choice for many. Let's dive into what makes IPS screens tick. First, it's critical to understand what IPS is. This technology was developed to overcome the limitations of TN panels, particularly in terms of color reproduction and viewing angles. In an IPS display, the liquid crystal molecules are aligned horizontally to the panel. This alignment allows light to pass through more easily, resulting in a wider viewing angle. One of the most significant advantages of IPS screens is their color accuracy. They provide excellent color reproduction, making them highly popular among graphic designers, photographers, and other professionals who require precise and consistent colors. So if you're into digital art or photo editing, an IPS display might be your best friend. Another notable feature of IPS screens is their brightness. IPS displays can get very bright, making them suitable for well-lit environments. This is particularly useful if you're using your device in an outdoor setting or a brightly lit room where glare can be a problem. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows with IPS screens, they do have their downsides. For instance, they don't offer the same level of contrast as OLED displays. This means that blacks aren't as deep and whites aren't as bright. Moreover, IPS screens also consume more power compared to OLEDs, which can be a concern for mobile device users. But despite these drawbacks, IPS screens still offer a great balance between performance and price. They deliver excellent color accuracy and viewing angles without breaking the bank, making them a solid choice for many users. Now that we've got a grasp on both OLED and IPS screens, it's time for a face-off. It's showdown time. OLED versus IPS. How do they stack up against each other? Diving right into the deep end, let's start with color reproduction. OLED screens with their individually lit pixels can produce a broader spectrum of colors, giving visuals a richer, more vibrant feel. On the other hand, IPS panels, while not quite as vibrant, are known for their color accuracy. This makes them a popular choice among graphic designers and photographers, 
who need true-to-life colors for their work. Next, let's talk about contrast ratios. This is where OLED truly shines, literally and metaphorically. Since OLED pixels can be turned off completely, they can achieve perfect blacks, leading to virtually infinite contrast ratios. In comparison, IPS screens, despite having excellent contrast, can't match the depth of black that OLEDs can offer. Brightness, however, is a different story. IPS screens typically have a higher peak brightness than OLEDs. This means they can be easier to see in brightly lit environments. OLEDs, while not as bright, offer exceptional darkroom performance, making them ideal for watching movies or playing games in low light. Moving on to viewing angles, the direction from which you can view the screen without experiencing color shifts or contrast loss. IPS screens are known for their wide viewing angles making them a great choice for collaborative work or multiplayer gaming. OLEDs, while having decent viewing angles, can experience color shift when viewed from extreme angles, but it's not usually a problem unless you're regularly watching from a corner of the room. Let's touch on refresh rates. Both OLED and IPS screens can offer high refresh rates which is a boon for gamers. But here's the kicker. OLEDs have a faster response time which means less motion blur. So, if you're into fast-paced gaming, OLED might have the edge. Now no technology is without its drawbacks. For OLED, the elephant in the room is burn-in. This is when static images are displayed for long periods, potentially leading to permanent damage. On the other hand, IPS screens, while immune to burn-in, can suffer from backlight bleed, where light leaks around the edges or corners of the screen. And finally, there's the question of cost. OLED screens are generally more expensive than their IPS counterparts, but they also offer a more premium viewing experience. So it's a matter of what you're willing to pay for. After comparing you might wonder which one suits you best, let's find out. So, which screen type should you go for? OLED or IPS? Let's dive right in and explore which screen type could be the best fit for you, based on your unique preferences and needs. For all you gaming aficionados out there, who crave high levels of contrast and refresh rates, OLED screens might be your go-to choice. The individual pixel illumination of OLED screens delivers deep, true blacks that make your gaming visuals pop. Coupled with high refresh rates, you're looking at smoother transitions and reduced motion blur. This can be a real game-changer especially when you're deep into those fast-paced, action-packed gaming sessions. So if contrast, deep blacks and fluid motion top your list, OLED might just be your match. Now let's shift gears and talk about the graphic designers and photographers among you. If accurate color reproduction is your holy grail, you might want to give IPS screens a closer look. IPS, or in-plane switching, screens are renowned for their excellent color accuracy and consistency. They offer a broad spectrum of colors and more importantly, they maintain this color accuracy from different viewing angles. This means that whether you're designing a logo, editing a photo or just viewing content, the colors you see will remain true to the original. The wider viewing angles also make IPS screens a great choice for those who often share their screen with others. If color accuracy and consistency are your top priorities, IPS could be your ideal choice. Of course, these are just generalized recommendations. There are other factors to consider such as battery consumption, screen burn-in, and even price. Each screen type has its pros and cons, and the right choice really depends on your specific needs and circumstances. Remember the best screen for you depends on your needs, so choose wisely.